Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, how are you doing guys? Hi Yolanda, hi Enrique, how are you doing? Hi teacher, fine teacher, thank you. How about you? I'm doing great. How was your weekend? Did you have a nice weekend? Nice Saturday? Nice no, Sunday? Me, it was very busy, but oh. I think, <laughs> yes, but but in my case, house house get house house chores uh, house chores yes. <laughs> uh, so the cleaning up, washing, putting everything in order. <laughs> yes. Oh. Well, I clean my my refrigerator, mm -hmm. and this is a great uh, job. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yes, yeah, wait, yes, 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 I totally get that. Well, but but the good thing is that you were at home or did you work? Yes, no, only Saturday. I work only Saturday in the morning. Oh, okay, so afternoon off. 
No. All right. I see. Hi, guys. Good evening. <sighs> Thanks for joining. Oh, <laughs> okay. I see Claudia. Hi, Claudia. Good evening. Uh, Azucena, great to see you. How you doing? Fernando, hello. Uh, hi, Irving. How was your weekend, guys? Did you have a nice one? Did you have a good weekend? Good Saturday? Good Sunday? Was it good? Oh, guys, can you? Sorry, I have, a, I, I have a good one. Thank you. Okay, nice to hear that. Guys, can you hear me? Perfectly. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I don't know if it's my internet connection, but I lost all your cameras for a moment. Okay. Well, guys, uh, I'm super excited to see you today, uh, especially because today is session number uh, 15, right? We are finishing the module tomorrow, and uh, we got uh, still like some uh, topics here to cover that we are going to uh, check today. And today's topic is like very interesting. We're gonna be talking about some unreal situation, hypothetical situation. Um, I really hope you had a nice weekend. And uh, anyways, if you had to complete your chores, so I hope you had the time to complete them all. <laughs> and uh, so let's get like started with the activities we're gonna be doing today. And I just got a question for you. Imagine guys that, um, you are this person. <laughs> so imagine just for a moment that you are in a deserted island, right? Um, or you are stranded, right? And uh, you're going to be there for a month. So, but you can select only three objects, right? That you consider are going to be super uh, necessary, useful, and the most useful things that you can think of. Obviously, um, it is deserted, so there is no electricity, um, there is no Wi-Fi or something like that. So, if you had, if you could select three objects, what would you select? I'm going to give you um, one minute, all right, uh, so you can think of the three most useful objects that you could take to this island for a month, right? So what would you take? You need to survive. There won't be anybody else. A so, knife. All right, so a knife. What else? If you had- a Fire. A lighter. Fire. Fire, but like matches? An object to, yes, uh, an object to, to make fire, I don't know. Okay, a probably. Okay, a lighter or some matches, I don't know. Okay. A bottle of water. Only one. Yes, because if it rains, you will have the opportunity to get some water. Okay, okay. So a bottle of water. It's gonna be for one month. <laughs> so uh -huh, you can only take three objects. So guys, what would you take? You need clothes. Okay, but you can take only three objects. Um, uh -huh, but I you mean, can survive naked. Um, I think. I don't know. <laughs> so, I mean, no, obviously, <laughs> obviously you are wearing something, but the point is, uh, uh, besides what you are wearing, you got to choose only three objects to survive mm -hmm. so what would you select a machete okay machete. So, a machete uh-huh machete como se dice encendedor a lighter so that's a lighter. Guys, do you have your list ready? Do you have your three objects? 
or, or yes, if I it's for it. photos, so we have that test as well. So later or matches. Okay, guys, so what do you have? Remember, it's only three, the ones that you consider the most useful. So Yolanda, let's go with you. What are your three objects? Okay, in my case, I, uh, I select uh, water, bottle water, uh, okay. but I think a big, uh, a big what? A big uh, container. Uh, container, a big container. Okay. Uh, repellent okay. and a good book. In my case, I select uh, Paula. Okay, so book, water, and repellent. Okay, okay. Interesting choice. <laughs> okay, guys. Hi, Rafael. Good evening. Enrique, Hi, good what evening. are your three objects? Hi, Mauricio. Good evening. Great to have Hello, you. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm doing great. So we are just like yes, sharing here the three objects. Yes, Enrique. I think I will take a machete. Okay. Um, a fighter. Um, a lighter. Lighter, lighter. Okay, yes. a lighter. Um, and water. Water, and a water. big container, as said Yolanda. Okay. Water. Okay, so very similar. Okay, okay. What about the Hello. rest of you guys? Hello. <laughs> this is my little song. <laughs> Hi, boy. Oh, that was your voice. Uh, uh, boys. Okay. <laughs> okay. Boy, yeah. uh, so um, let me go with guys. Do you have your list ready? Fernando, do you have it ready? Hi, Dago. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. <clears throat> Good evening. Do you have your list ready? What three objects would you take? I think the, I need a knife. Mm -hmm. uh, uh bow mm -hmm. and a lighter okay so a lighter all right okay anybody else wants to share the list mauricio what would you take it's only three objects the ones I'm that sure. you can select um i don't know what objects mm -hmm. are but uh, i think it's mm, any uh, you can choose uh, any but the ones uh, that you can of... survive with a gallon, a gallon of water, okay. machete, um, knife, I don't know how do you say machete, machete. No, and, yeah, that's a machete. Uh -huh. and, um, and, and what else? I don't know. Uh, um, I don't know, a gorra. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> In a cup. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. That, that's a very interesting choice. How okay. do you say cachucha? A cup. A cup. Yeah, let me write it down. That's a cup. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. So to protect yourself from the sun. <laughs> okay, Rafael, what's your choice? What's your list? I think the same. Machete. Mm. Lighter. Okay. And and water okay okay it's so a very like similar okay um i think guys does anybody else uh have something different hi teacher hi Susanna. how you doing um i think uh, i can select a bottle of water mm -hmm. and also um uh, my cell phone because i okay. i have include a, a lamp here oh okay and um it can be a tienda de campaña a tent a tent Yes. Oh, okay. So a tent, you would include a tent. Okay. Sure. That's very interesting. Sure. Yes. I okay. forgot the teacher, sorry. I mm -hmm. forgot the time is for a month and mm -hmm. uh, we cannot get much water for a month. I mm -hmm. think uh, it's better is a, a plastic layer because in a plastic layer you you put a crest pan, the, the plastic layer, and make a hole in the in the middle. You can then purify you can, water. You can receive uh, water uh, from, from what the do you rain. say, the, the, the rain and the 
Rosillo, what do you say? I don't know if there's a word for that. I, I uh, owe you the word because I'm not sure I, I have the word for that. Okay. Yeah, but, but you can, you can receive the, the, the water, the water, mm -hmm. the, the plastic and receive the, the water that has uh, uh, a little. The drops, like, yeah, the drop. drops of water. Drop. Okay. Uh, and, and then receive and then the plastic layer and you fill a, a, a recipe, a recipe? Uh, a bottle? Container. In the, yes, and in the middle, how you can mm -hmm. receive the, the water. So you, you can, can make it yeah. like, uh, you can make it like uh, drinkable water. Uh, okay. Yes, yes. Yeah, actually that is the point that is gonna be for a month, right? So probably taking water is not like um, what the best uh -huh, solution we have a pot uh sophia a pot for cooking you mean you mean a pot right yes for cooking oh okay so a pot a cooking pot okay because this word pot has another meaning <laughs> so i just wanted to make sure um so, okay okay cody do you have something else um i think i don't have anything else it's because it's only three things and yeah. <laughs> i can i i think you there need is more. not enough <laughs> yeah we need more definitely yeah we need so more i think I, I would include just something else i would include a rope right so um, rope is one of these things that you use for, I don't know, putting things together, holding something together. So I would include a rope. Uh, una cuerda. Uh, yes, I would include probably a rope, a lighter, and I would take a pen knife. Um, so, or a machete, as you said. Also, you can call it a pen knife. So a pen knife is very similar to a knife. But it's the one that you can fold, the one that Navajo. we call multiusos. Yeah, so oh, that's yeah. a pen knife too. Okay. Because with this arm, this arm, this knife. A pen knife. Yes, a Swiss, a Swiss line. Yes, oh. yes, exactly, that oh. one. Mm -hmm. That is a, a pen knife. Okay, very interesting choice of items just selected, guys. And with these, let's talk a little bit about some uh, and real situations, part of unit number five is about conditional number two. So conditional two is about things that are not real, right? Things that are um, ideas, things that we consider, but um, in a unreal world or hypothetical situations. So normally a uh, second conditional, as you may remember, uh, is for things that are not real, so hypothetical things. Um, the part of conditional is very uh, useful, and it's just, uh, the point is for you to remember the structure. So normally we are going to use um, if with past tense, right? And then we can use the second part with could or would because it is not something real. Uh, like in this case, for example, so I would take a rope, I would take a lighter because it is not real. So in second conditional, we are talking about it's situations that we just imagine. Imagine guys, for example, if I ask you if you were an animal, uh, what would you, what would you be? So, this is a hypothetical situation. Obviously, we are not animals. We will probably never be unless you believe in uh, reincarnations and all those things. But if you were an animal in a hypothetical world, so what, what animal would you be? A cat. Oh, OK. A cat a cat oh, really? I, lo no. I love the cat. OK, cat. Yes, Sorry. What, what about the rest of you guys? What animal Tiger. would you be? If I were an animal, a tiger. I were a tiger. Wow, OK. What about the rest shark. of you? Black panther. A panther, OK. Irving, what was it? A shark. A, a shark. shark, why? 
I cannot imagine what a shark. You are you are the fear of the seas. Oh, okay. For the Why? sun, baby uh -huh. shark. <laughs> I just remember, yeah, <laughs> baby shark, do, 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 do. <laughs> Enrique and uh, Sophie, white cats. Okay. Why, when, white cats? When don't love me, I go far away. Oh, okay. So no, you look for no, love. No, no. You look for love in other places. Okay. Interesting. Good what band. about the rest of you? <laughs> sure. Okay. Yeah. I will be an eagle. I, I, I would like I would like to be a cat because the cats are very are very smart. The cat have seven life. Seven and they are life. very independent. <laughs> so cats are very yes, independent yes. too. Yes, very very curious. Very curious. And mm -hmm. are, are, are mystical animals. Mm, I've heard and about now, that as well. I would like to be an yeah, interesting. Very, very funny, very funny the, the cat. All right. Yeah, I think and very, they are. And very independent. They are definitely independent. Mauricio, I totally agree with you. Uh, I think it would be an eagle. I don't know why. I think because they see everything like in the forward or um, I don't know. They are always looking forward to the future. Why would you feel identified with eagles? Yeah, well, I would like to be an eagle. Yes, we can fly, fly very high, very high, and and have a, a they are strong mm -hmm. and uh, and unpredictable. I would say. Huh? And unpredictable, I think. And uh, they are very, uh, like a, I don't know how to say it, it's a, a, they, they live a lot too. Oh, Maybe. really? Yeah. They have a long life. They have, have a long life. Oh, um, they have okay. a long life. And, uh, and I, I like that they have a, it is a good, it is a, a bird. I like that bird and it will, or falcon too. Mm -hmm. falcon, falcon, falcon. Okay, falcons as well. I like eagles because eagles are not praised, but they are not praised. So, um, prey, yeah. So they attack, they are not victims. Yeah, so praise like no some presas, right? Ah, okay. Uh -huh, okay. So they are not praised, but they attack. So it's the opposite. Um, Daniel, wha why a gray wolf? What are the characteristics or what's the uh -huh. difference with a normal wolf? Okay, in my case, I would like to be a gray wolf because they are stronger and they prefer live their life alone. Oh. Um, that's the most important oh, of them. They, they are not in a pack. No, no, no. Oh, they, okay. they prefer uh, uh, in a long life mm -hmm. and they are stronger than another's wolf. Oh, do they exist? They exist, yeah, they do. Okay. I have a wolf. I Where? have a wolf. Uh, my father rescued a wolf. Seriously? Uh, I have um, the pet. Uh, it's big. It was big. It's big. But, but, but it was not good. Very interesting. It was big. Very big. Very big. Okay. But you said it was. He, because. Is it dead? Oh, okay. Okay, I got it. Dead. But live um, 18 years with us. Wow. C can you have Guaf as a pet? I don't know. Uh -huh. But I, I have a uh -huh. I don't know. I think they... It's like a chuchu. Like yeah, a chuchu. but I think their instincts are different than pets. Well, oh. I don't know. 
but how well mm. if nothing happens to your family i think that is just fine right <laughs> so i think that would be great all right so guys i want you to take a look at just two important things here uh, normally you know that um this one uh, we are going to use simple past tense here, but imagine that I'm talking about myself e and I say, for example, if I were an animal, I'd be, I'm going to use the contraction, I'd be an eagle, okay. I want you to take a look at this uh, sentence that um, exemplifies a little bit here. You know that this is not very common, right? Um, normally, I simply use, if I was, that would be the correct way to say this. But in this type of conditional, conditional number two, this is the correct way to use it, if I were because it is not something real. This is going to be, or this is going to come as an exception to the rule. Uh, normally I'm going to use where for all the subjects, right? If it is about verb B. So if my sister were, for example, so uh, I'm gonna use, I'm not gonna use was here, but I'm going to use where as a formal structure in second conditional for all of them. Um, this doesn't happen when we are um, in other tenses, when we're talking about simple past, but only in this kind of a scenario, if I were, if you were, because this is not something real. Um, sometimes you may listen, yes. Sorry, what's the first condition? If you are studying out the second condition, what's the oh. first? Sure, first conditional is um, real uh, tense. So we're talking about real scenarios. So normally we have simple present. I think you studied this in basic five, if I'm not mistaken. So simple present and the other one is present. Uh, or you can use will. Some people call it zero conditional and first conditional. And uh, so these are the ones. So for example, when you say, if I drink too much uh, soda, I will get sick. If I um, don't go to the dentist, I will get some cavities. Um, so that is something real. So you have like a cause and a consequence. Um, that is conditional number one or conditional zero. But in this case, conditional two, this is totally unreal. So this is not going to happen. We are talking about hypothetical situations. Um, guys, do you remember conditional one? Well, you use it. Probably you don't remember the structure match, but yes. I have heard you using we it. Saw in in uh, in the past class. One of the, the one of the like basic, it. yeah, one of the basic as well. So normally, second conditional, the the point here is just a structure. So if I were, if I had, if I met, if I knew, right? So. We are talking about teacher. I have a question. Tell me. In in past uh, levels, um, some 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 teachers said or tell or told us in a class that there is a um, twelve twelve verbal tense. I don't know how to say. It. Mm -hmm. Tiempo verbales. Mm -hmm. there, there is a 12. And I I weren't in, in the class that when he when he teach when he teach the, the or when he said uh, the the name of the of the of the verbal tense. I don't okay. know if if you can can give give the the name of the of these twelve verbal tense. I don't know if you can, or 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 well, the no, original no, no. the original are just two, so past and future. 
but uh, then you have all the combinations of perfects and continuous. Yes. So, and, uh -huh, and you just combine them. At least 12, there is a 12 and include, including the, the first conditional and second conditional, I think um, there are, or there is a combination of the, of the tense, or mm -hmm. I don't know. Let me investigate what he probably meant because this is not a, a combination of tenses. Let me investigate a little bit uh -huh, because tenses, yes, there are a lot talking about perfect and continuous tenses, but this is different. Talking about conditionals, there are only three types of conditionals. Uh, zero conditional, present, present. First conditional, present, will. Uh, second conditional, that is this one. And the third conditional that is a little bit more elaborated, but that's it. Uh -huh. okay. So let me investigate uh, because I don't want to give you wrong information. Mm -hmm. okay. And if I got the answer, I'll let you know tomorrow. Okay, teacher. Probably we're talking about the combination of them. Okay, guys, okay. take a look at the following uh, questions we have right here, right? So we have a couple of scenarios that are obviously not real. So we have, for example, if you won the lottery, saying or thinking that we will never probably win the lottery. So if you won the lottery, what would you do, right, with the money? How would you spend it, okay? If you woke up suddenly because your house was on fire, if you take a look here, we are using was, uh, which is acceptable, but the most common way would be where. So if you woke up suddenly because your house was on fire, uh, what items would you say first? So what would you do, right? What would you take? So what is the most important item in your house? Uh, if you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would you choose? So imagine that there is nothing else to take or to eat, so what would you choose? And the last one says, if you saw a rat in your house, what would you do? So I don't know, guys, if you are scared of rats, or do you feel this hatred for them? So would you scream? Would you kill it? Would you go away running or looking for help? So what would you do? Let's discuss the questions and then I have some exercises uh, so we can practice this conditional. So give me just a moment. We are going to discuss them guys. So you can take a picture of them and uh, we are going to the groups. This is going to be a brief description. Just remember your answer would be with would or could, because we're talking about hypothetical things, so not real things. Um, okay, I'm sending you the invitations right now. We have 10 minutes and then we come back and we complete some other exercises. Let's go everybody.
ano kasi American enterprise invest and okay. I will yes invest and I would like to to make a non-profit organization to to help other people especially in the who lives in the in the in the rural rural and the yeah, rural uh, area especially rural area yes three three things I will like if I won the lottery. In my case, if I wanna, if I won the lottery, um, I will travel for the rest of my life, maybe. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love travel. And, yeah. and, and if I will, uh, if I won uh, the lottery, that's my, comes true, my dreams come true. <laughs> Well, in my case, if I won the lottery, I think I will pay um, first, I will pay my debts and I would like to uh, to have uh, the, the house of my dreams, <laughs> a huge house. And also I would like to, to uh, invest in a in a school but a um a special school uh, for um children who who have uh, special um abilities can can go and who doesn't uh, have the enough money and, and also can um, can uh, have the the access for this uh, education. How about Daniel? How about me? <laughs> yes. Okay, if I won the lottery. As uh, you said before, I will pay my debts and invest at least um, a half of, the, of that money. And if there is still some balance of, of money, I would like to travel with my family. Okay. The what about one? the second question? Oh. So, but the, the the gasoline is is the is the it's expensive. Gasoline, yes, it's so it's expensive. So. <laughs> uh -huh. But it's expensive too because it has has an increase. Yes, the half for, for the lottery is for the car and the the. The second half is for the gasoline. I yeah. think that, that uh, the best <laughs> is, oh, si, seria, si. the best is to buy a uh, electrical car. Uh, okay, that's option. a good. That's no, a good no, option. Now you find and control. Uh -huh, to find. In the not, I don't know. Not, but we you, don't have uh, yeah. enough uh, places to charge your car. Here in Salvador, I think. Yeah, only in, you know yeah. how it's working. You only in San Benito, I think. No, in Santa Tecla too. Uh, in uh, we have a, a, a to, to here a, a, to here is a gas station with the the offer electric offer. car electric station. Mm -hmm. Yes, Where? it's a gas. It's a, it's, it's a gas Electric. station, but she had that service. That's oh, service too. That's cool. But the cars are expensive, right? It's but it needs electric cars. But it needs. Uh, I don't know how to say voltage, but I think electricity. The, the 
electricity, but the, the car is, is an special, I don't know, in a, in a special connection, I think. Exactly, exactly. They yes. have the e equipo, equip e equipment. Yeah, they keep them. Oh, in my yeah. case uh okay. i will open an enterprise and hire people that are employed in your choice one what did you do uh i'm, a, do? I'm a network engineer ah, okay So Sofia, what do you um, ah Sofia wanna buy the, the house? Veronica, if you want to learn if you want up suddenly because you have got some fire, what eaten would you say first? I would say first my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I said my, no. my sister. <laughs> In my test? But currently I live alone, so I say myself. <laughs> and I don't have a pet. You <laughs> say I <laughs> I will say my 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 books, I think, and myself, yes. Or your money. Or your money. I no. don't have baby. <laughs> no money, money. Money. Oh, I'm sorry. Hello. I think you said money. Money. Okay, Mauricio. Uh, I don't know. I, I was thinking about that, but it's if you woke up suddenly, suddenly because your house was on fire. What item will you say first? Wow. I don't know. Uh, really, I don't know. But, but the item or, e or item, it, it means things or uh, what this means? What? The item. Item, it means, it means a thing. Uh -huh. I think, yeah. A thing. Item, okay. it, uh, it's not people, it's a thing. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a thing. But the things don't. No, me important. I think the wallet. I would, I would took the wallet. Oh, uh, yeah, your, the your true uh, wallet. personal wallet. documentation. It's important. Uh -huh. Ah, but my personal the, the documents are in my pocket. So uh, I take yeah. my pocket and and then I I will take my, my books and I get out of the fire. Oh uh, that's intelligent. I think that I that I uh, will save my uh, computer. personal computer. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Vero. How are you? I'm fine for for mistake. Uh, to leave. You couldn't join. Yes. No worries. Uh, actually, the guys are discussing these questions. So now that you're here, I think that we can take some time and discuss them as well. Uh, for example, number one says, if you won the lottery, what would you do? So uh, Veronica, imagine they call you and they tell you, hey, you are the winner of, how much is the lottery ticket? In my case, I, I, if I win the lottery, mm -hmm. I buy a house for my family. Okay, so and you another, will buy a house? Mm -hmm, and another two rent to survive. Oh, I like that idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I Actually, had a problem with my, with my, uh, oído. 
with your ear? Yes, I don't li listen very well. Oh, are you losing your hearing? Uh, yes, this uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. Uh -huh. I was. I was this. Uh, so did you go to the hospital? No, I don't. I don't have time for <laughs> to the hospital in this moment. Oh. But pero, mm -hmm. but I I I would like to go. You should go. Mm -hmm. uh, especially my... because hearing is connected with your throat. Um uh -huh, like nose, mouth, and ears, they are connected. But I don't have any more problem. Oh, okay. Do you have a pain in your ear? Do you have like a earache or something? I don't have problems, no. But, but in this Wednesday, mm -hmm. when I go, get up, mm -hmm. uh, my hair estaba así. So, okay. That's kind of strange. Okay. Well, we call it hearing. So, como los sentidos, right? Uh, when we're talking about vista, gusto, and, and el oído, so we call it hearing. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. So, hopefully, there it is not serious. So, hopefully, you will, you know. I, uh, I, I listen. Mm -hmm. Okay. A little. <laughs> a little. Oh. Is, is, is my hair uh, left? Okay. Only left. But it's, it's simple. It's simple to listen. It is. And also because your ears are the balance of your body. So I think you should go to the doctor and, and get that, you know, solved. Um, because uh, the doctor told me once, um, for example, that if you lose one of your uh, ears or your hearing ability, so you can faint, you know, so se puede caer o se puede desmayar because that is like the center of your balance. So I think it's important. Um, well, guys, thanks a lot for coming back. We were just discussing here with Vero some things. <laughs> okay, and I hope Thank you were able to discuss a couple of them with the rest of your classmates. So can you share some of your ideas? So um, do you have any idea how much the lottery ticket is in El Salvador or how much is the lottery, like the accumulated lottery here? Do you play the lottery, guys? No. No. I didn't know. Do you have an idea how much you get if you win it? No, I, I'm not. I don't. I don't know. No, I just remember it was like a hundred thousand or something. Okay, but I guess the lottery uh, when you win it is like what twenty five thousand probably less or more. Any idea? Maybe like, like twenty five, right? Because it is it is a lot, but it is divided in twenty different um, tickets. So let's say that is twenty five thousand, something like that. So guys, if you won the lottery, what would you do with the money that you get from the lottery? Because twenty five thousand is not enough to buy a house, right? Unfortunately, housing in El Salvador is super expensive. So what would you do with the $25,000? I will buy a car at, at, at for a four-wheel drive car. Oh, okay. A, a okay. Pickup. Okay. A Hilux. A Hilux for <laughs> okay. Mitsubishi. Oh, okay. I would like to have a truck just to go to the volcanoes. <laughs> okay. Uh, so... I like to buy Oh, that's um, interesting. The gold. Oro, gold, 
Gold. 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 Oh. Okay. I like to buy gold when I have money because it's an inversion. Oh, I've, I've heard about it. So people invest it's money on it. Okay. So it's uh -huh. an investment. Okay. How about well, Bitcoin? <laughs> well, well <laughs> I, I think that if you know if you know how Bitcoin works or cryptocurrency, that is a good thing. Otherwise, um, it's I risky. don't know. Uh -huh. It's a high risk thing. Like if you were playing with your money or gambling with your money, right? How I think you... Salvador is a terrific decision, teacher. <laughs> well, guys, do you buy or have you ever bought Bitcoins? No, Bitcoin no. is not good. I or haven't. Or cryptocurrency? The cryptocurrency is the name of the rest. Bitcoin is only one currency, but there are more. Uh -huh. No? But I think the you need to, to have uh, many... Uh, Conocimiento. Knowledge. 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 You need some knowledge. Yes, yes some friends uh, invest, invest or invest. Oh, they invest there. Investing. In, in another crypto coins. I don't know how to say crypto. Yes, there. crypto coins or crypto, in another crypto crypto coins. Coin. And, they, in, in, and he won um, uh, not a hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. And when he he want he want ah he want he wanted to, to yeah. withdraw it he want, eh, eh, to to I don't know how to say uh, deposit oh, deposit yes deposit or transferred the, the, uh -huh, and the commission or I don't know say that the impuesto para transferirlo <laughs> the fee uh huh that is the fee yes it is it's like a, a a seventy, a seventy dollars. What? And she lose, she lose the, the money. Oh, okay. He didn't pay. Oh, he didn't pay it. Pay attention or put it attention on to this. The, she didn't pay attention to the fee. Yes. Oh, okay. So, that's sure. because I say that. Do you need to have? Knowledge. Knowledge. Mm -hmm. yes. About how it works. Yes. Enrique, are you gambling sure. with currencies? Uh, yes. Uh, and the most uh, wallets, the fee are very, very high. But in the, the national wallet, uh, Chivo, you don't pay fee. And I invest. Invested. Oh, did you? I invested uh, for hundred dollars and I won 150 in about one one month but then I I transferred to my to, to my account. my account because a, a cryptocurrency a, go down they very, dropped. very down yes they dropped so yeah, the, the price the price dropped okay and right now I have only mm, $16, okay. I have only the money they gave for registration fee, but uh, yeah, I, I think it's very similar to the to playing the lottery, you know, so you kind of buy something and you are hoping to get the, the striking um, or the winning, but, yeah. But there are a difference, but there are a difference because the lottery, you only can win if the or lose with a, with a good look yes but in the in the case of the cryptocurrency the, you you will win will win you mm -hmm. will win if you uh, if you get knowledge i'll say Cody, mm -hmm. if you started the cryptocurrency you can invest and you can win yeah, but it's, but it's at a high risk. So it's a high risk investment. That's the thing. That, a high uh, risk, but a high, but a, a high risk, but a high 
um, rendimiento, what do you say? A performance. I mean, that's the point that probably... It's a balance. Uh -huh. It's a balance. If you have a, a high risk, you have a high possibility to, to want a high, high, high money. High. Yeah, like commission uh -huh, to duplicate your money. I mean, definitely, yes. But, but I investigate the platform she teacher. You invested with a with a friend from South Africa. She has um, crypto money currency. Cryptocurrency. Here, currency here in El Salvador. And she say, Oh, I can change my crypto. And when she went to the bank, mm -hmm. uh, she can change her money in the platform Chivo. And um, it's an engaño. No se puede trabajar con la plataforma. Uh, well, I don't really know if it works outside the country. I think it doesn't. I think it's only here. But um, still, you know, it, it's a high, as we say, it's a high risk because I know that you have a wallet, but I don't really know how it works. Maybe we can ask tomorrow Enrique to explain that over to us <laughs> and to make money. <laughs> so $150, right, Enrique? <laughs> I think he, Enrique mentioned he got or he made 150 out of 400 dollars. So yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. I won 150. Okay. Yeah. So maybe we can get but, some of your knowledge. But, but the, the actually, and actually, I um, I lost. You lost. I lost uh, uh, I lost uh, about four dollars. Oh, so it was the, not a lot. Okay. But but if you uh, have a you say the percent uh, for from twenty is as what um fifteen percent. I guess so. 15? Okay. Yes. I mean, yeah, it's a matter that, well, you have to decide if you want to go for it, right, and risk it. But yeah, maybe you can explain us more how it works. <laughs> okay, guys, let's go with the third one. Oh, the second one says, if you woke up suddenly because your house went on fire, so what item would you save? Guys, what item would you go first for? So what is the most important item uh, that you think it's in your house? What would you take? My books, I think. Your books? Yes. My books are, if I, uh, if I have a big back cage or backpack, mm -hmm. back page, back, okay, I think backpack. My, my, computer, my computer and my books. Okay, so your computer and your book, okay? Yes. If it is only one, <laughs> either I'm your you, either your backpack, your computer, or the book, what would you take? I'm a books. <laughs> oh, okay. But if it is only one book, oh my god, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, it's a hard decision. <laughs> Do you have one? <laughs> yes. I don't know. What is my favorite book? Uh, let me see. Let me think. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> I come back to you. <laughs> Guys, what would you take? If it is only one item, the one that you can take from your house, what would you take? I would take my wallet. Ah, yes. That's a With smart move. Personal. Okay. Yes. ID, all the ID credit cards, uh -huh, uh -huh. driving, license, and everything. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, Teacher, what about I think uh, if you don't have time to think in this moment, <laughs> I okay, guess kind of so. I choose. Uh -huh. No, yeah, but imagine that it is the first thing that you have like in front of you, or it depends. <laughs> Sometimes we take what we consider the most important. I think I would take my phone because I would have the phone next to me. 
uh, but what about the rest of you? <laughs> what would you say, guys? Yeah. What would be the, the only yeah. item that you yeah. would take? Yeah? I think, I think so as, um, what is the name of my? Mauricio. Mauricio, yes. I so your wallet. Time. My wallet, because uh, uh, it's very difficult to go to the, uh, to, to take uh, again the old documents. Yes. The car, the cars, my ID. Mm -hmm. That's right. All, all, oh. all documents. But guys, I got a question for you. Do you, uh, in the chat, I wrote the word handy. Do you have your wallet handy? So handy means that you have it at hand, that you have it next to you, easily to get. Do you have your wallet handy? Yeah, because, in the table. Uh -huh, exactly, because in on case of men, normally they have it on the pocket, right? Okay, or on the table. In my case, my wallet is, I have no idea where. <laughs> so I, I would never find it. Um, in your purse, no. in the, your. Oh my goodness! Now that Personal. I remember, um, I haven't seen my wallet in a couple of days. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, 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 after the class, I'm going to look for my ID and everything because I haven't used it in like two weeks. So I'm gonna look for them. <laughs> sure. Okay. I, yeah. I use my wallet, my wallet all day and. Today, my my wallet is all in my back left pocket. Back left uh, pocket. My, it is your pocket. Back left, yes. Always, it is in always. your pocket. Okay. Yes, exactly. But, so that is handy. Yes, Yolanda. No, but if uh, you are in pijama, pajamas, pajamas. What, 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 uh, pijama, uh -huh. what do you do? <laughs> I to take my like, pants. You're looking for take your my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I only take my pants. Under my, under my but I think that if you are in pajamas, there is not like a big problem, right? Because you can check something. The problem is if you are not in pajamas. <laughs> so, or if you're, if you're taking you're a shower. If you're naked. naked. Uh, or you're all <laughs> half naked. Or, uh, guys, earthquakes happen. That's right. They happen the anytime. They don't tell wow. you like, uh -huh, like, oh, in three minutes, we are going to start. So has it ever happened to you that you're taking a shower and you feel like a tremor or an earthquake? In that air could yes. Were you taking the a shower? shower? <laughs> used to sleep with underwear. <laughs> Too much information. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I'm too long. Okay. Too long, naked. 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 Or in... No. You have to run, you have to run naked. Uh, I mean, that's a big thing. How better to learn that naked? No, but it's the same. Yes. <laughs> or in Adam's, in Adam's suit. <laughs> okay. yes. No, but yeah, that's right. So that, that is the point. It really depends on the situation or where you are. If you are in the bathroom or if you are in the oh, taking a shower, right? <laughs> Um, or the sleeping, so it really depends on that. Guys, I got to stop you for that night because of that time. Thank you, it was so cool to talk to you. Guys, we are finishing classes tomorrow, so please don't miss it. We're gonna take the final picture as well of the last class. So thanks everybody for joining today. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Don't forget you tomorrow. to complete the platform. Bye-bye, see you. Bye -bye. Bye. See you.